All right, what up, everybody? I actually recorded the audio for this once, but it sounded crap. So I'm going to redo it, and I'm just talking, and I'm going to be following the video. But this is the basics for setting up a Twitter account. And I'm just going to basically walk you through what you need to do. And now I'm going to wait. Uh, you know, the first thing you got to do is, you know, go to Twitter.com, click join the conversation, and it's going to take you to this window. Now in this window, you see you got your full name, username, password, email. For your full name, you can use your real name, like I use my name a lot, or you can use like, you know, your online name. Here I have Hodza King. Hodza is a uh, monkey in Chinese, so monkey king. And then I have the username as the same thing. And you see right below there, it'll tell you if it's taken or not, but it says that's okay. Then you you know, right under this, you'll have to throw your password in. And, you know, I don't want to talk too fast. But um, you throw your throw your password in, do your email. And I think what I was talking about here is you should uh, spend a little time thinking about your this online I identity or this online name you use. And, you know, try to have a good name for your YouTube account. And then you can use it on your Twitter and you can use it, you know, all over the place. But, you know, find a good name that isn't taken already. I mean, if you notice, like, a lot of the top YouTube people and all, all this kind of stuff, they have a name that they use, you know, on their YouTube, on their Twitter, on their website. You want to do the same. So, boom, click create account. I actually did this. I was actually creating this account. On this next screen, you have the ability to scan your email address like scan your Gmail, your Yahoo, your AOL, and when you go through that, it will find, it will, you know, check it on Twitter to see if there's anyone who you might already know on Twitter, and then you can follow them. I decided to skip that, so I just clicked skip at the bottom down here, and I'm going to click it. Click. You can't hear any of the click noises. And this is new. Uh, right here it looks like people, some people are paying, like, look, you got Al Gore, the creator of the internet in there. But it, it just looks like there's, um, I see the onion, you know, you, you can pick and follow those, but, you know, it's, you know, they paid for that. So here, now you have an account, you don't have a profile picture, you don't have your profile, you know, hooked up at all. So the first thing you want to do uh, is get that stuff set up, you know, before you start following people, because... You know, if it's not set up, people are going to follow you, and they're going to be like, this guy doesn't have a picture, whatever. Oh, you couldn't see it, but right above with my mouse, went, that's the settings window. And then right here for settings, you know, you got name, your username, that's picked. What I'm talking, like, this is my Holds the King YouTube account. What I was talking about there is for the more info URL, put your MySpace, put a link to your YouTube account, put a link to something there. Because uh, people who don't have that, I, you know, it's like... You know, it, it, it's like, well, you don't have anything you can put there. Put your Bebo, put the link to the Milltown Clan profile, put something. And then for the one-line bio, I don't, I can't remember what I wrote. I'll have to change it and write something cool. But write, write something cool, right? I own at owning and stuff or, you know, whatever. Throw your location in there. That's cool because, you know, you can do Twitter searches based on location. So someone might, you know, look you up because, you know, you, you put Sydney, Australia or whatever it is. And then uh, there you just, there I click save. So that's all set up. Now you have passwords, devi devices. I think I go in here for a second. But devices is if you have a mobile phone and you're in the UK, Canada, or India, you can actually set it up so you can update your Twitter from your phone and that sort of thing, you know, there's passwords. And if you have a web-enabled device, whether, wherever you are, like if you have an iPhone, there's applications you can download to actually, uh, you know, rock Twitter over your Internet. Um, this talks about at replies. At replies, you know, if you do at Milltown Kid, once you have your account, like that's your update, I'll see that. Whether I'm following you or not, I'm set up, so I'll see that. And then I'll reply to you. So you can do at Milltown Kid space and then like a question like, what do you do, you know, what's, uh, I got some more questions about Twitter. Who should I follow? And I'll actually like, if once you follow me, I'll be sending, you know, like, oh, follow this guy if you like him. Okay, so I went, I, I should have said, but I went to the picture thing right here and find a, like, get a picture ready that you're going to upload and use for your uh, Twitter. Here, I got a picture of the Monkey King. And uh, and then just click save, and it says, you know, max size of 700K. And, you know, I, I was like, uh-oh, is it too big? It's taking a long time. But it was all right. 
and you know you don't want your default picture there because it just looks very noob noobish and I, I don't want you looking noobish I want you looking pro so there now I have that and then I think I might click over to now now your profile looks a lot more cool you got a picture you got a name location a website a little bio you know you got 140 characters to say something about yourself there's my picture you know if you click on it you can see the large image and then what I was gonna say is you should not you know, you should at least, it's better to make your own custom one, but don't use the default Twitter um, background. And I picked that one with trees, you know, it looks good, looks good with monkeys. But uh, just don't use the default background just because, like, you know, if you have the default background and you don't have a picture, it just, you know, it doesn't look, it looks like you're new. So, there, now you're all set up. And what you want to do is do an update right away. Before you even start following people, before you follow me, do a little update. I said, uh, what did I say? I'm rocking the Twitters now. Biatches! I think I spelled it right. And then click update. And now if you go to, you know, I'm going to go to my profile page. And, yeah. And and with the way we use Twitter, the way you can use it is you can share information, ask questions. You know, once you get followers, you can ask your followers questions and just all kinds of stuff. And that that's just that's gonna be the uh like I was gonna tell you more. Here's a application, but I'm just gonna stop now. And uh part two I'll tell you about so you don't have to just use the web app, you can use something like this here, TweetDeck. So but I'm gonna cut out for now. Alright? Peace.